Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today I would like to use this example as a snow goggle to show you how do you make the lenses and also how do you make the frame around it with the sub D tool in Rhino 7. Are you ready? Let's get started. This model is intended for rendering purpose and I actually wanted to show you some uh, sub skill to achieve this model. So it's not meant for production, right? But at least it will get your design across. So I'm going to starting from a scratch. For the goggle in the in, uh, eyewear industry, you need to uh, really care about uh, what curve base it is. So we're not really focused on that again. So I'm simply just going to draw whatever size. We're going to snap into zero and let's draw um, any of the shape like this. Okay. Now with this shape, uh, you're going to go on the front to cut out the shape that you want. We can uh, simply just draw your own design. In my case, I'm going to use the picture command. And I'm going to bring in a, a reference goggle for me to, to draw this. Right. So first of all, I need to trace this image. Uh, disregarding the size, I just need the line there. So I'm going to come in over here and to trace a line closely on the design. Again, you can do your own design for demonstration purpose. I just found this uh, image online to, to do the demonstration. But again, you can do your own design. Now, I noticed that the tracing over there is kind of caving. And that is just because because of the perspective. So I'm going to make it nice and puffy instead, right at this point right here. And we're going to starting from there. I'm gonna set a point about right here and that is where it's the center. Now we no longer need this piece, so I'm going to unlock it and I'm just gonna hide it. Okay, now with this piece, after you turn the um, eyewear off, the image off, you're going to see there's a lot of kink there, it doesn't look as pretty, so maybe this is certain part is too many point, certain part is too pointed there, so I want to do my own adjustment there, delete some point, moving some point, so that way I can get a smoother uh, surface that I want. Maybe on the bottom they need to be aligned, right, right there, and going up a little bit or something like this. Okay, now with this, this is our center point and I'm going to delete this point and also delete this point too. Now let's go ahead to mirror this guy over the other side with this point as our middle guy. As you can see, there's a big gap right in the middle. So we are going to use the blend command and we're going to blend in between here and here and also in between here and here. Okay. All right, so now we got this and let's go ahead to join all of them, right? And let's also go ahead to moving from this center point that we have and snapping into the zero. And now we can scale it up and down since it's a center to the zero and I'm gonna moving up there. Uh, try to utilize a whole space right there. So let's take a look with the ghost view on all of them, right? So really quickly that you have the shape that you like and it fitting into this uh, sphere over there. We simply just going to be trim on those and then we'll keep that one piece right there. Now this is a single surface right there. If we want to make it into the solid, we could just offset it. Um, I will say I want to offset it in this case, uh, flip it inside and I want it to be two millimeter and let's hit enter. So then we'll have our lenses done in the layer. Just type it lens here. Okay. Now we need to work on the frame. Uh, we can build a frame piece by piece, but I also want to build it with the sub D. Okay, so what I wanted to do is I want to duplicate these edges right here and then hit enter. And we want to turn this edge into a sub D friendly tool. So that's coming into our sub D tool right here at this icon. You have a make curve sub D friendly. So now it is a sub D friendly. Um, 
piece there. Uh, second, we wanted to draw a profile. And with this profile, I'm going to snap it into the quadrant and coming into the right view. And I can draw any shape because I'm going to change it later, right? So I'm going to draw any shape like this. And again, I want to make sure it is subtly friendly. So let's go ahead to make it subtly friendly. Close curve. All right, so with this curve right here, and also I want to make a copy to the middle right there. We got two of them there. One is on the top, one is on the bottom. And let's try to do a sweep in the sub D. So within the sub D, you have a sweep one. You got this curve and you got this cross section here and here. And you will get something like that. Notice there's a lot of a line there and it's so hard to edit later on. So I actually don't want that. Uh, we actually need to rebuild this curve. Let's rebuild it. Look, we have a 282 as really a, uh, a lot of point. That's why it's hard to edit. So first of all, make sure it's check, make subtly friendly. And let's try something less, like maybe 40 point and see how that fit. So let's keep it as a 40 point and let's click OK. So now I got that 40 point there. Let's give it a try. We're going to try subtly one more time. Or you can use the icon here. You got sweep one. So you got this curve and also the cross section. And as you can see now, my surface is much, much nicer, right? Uh, and then let's click OK. All right, so this is about the time we can push and pull. Let's take a look on this first. We have this nose piece right here. So we're going to use the sub D and we're going to bring up this neighbor, those pieces, those pieces. And before we do that, actually, if you're doing that only on one side, it's gonna, what happen? it's gonna work on only half side. So we wanna come in into um, the front view or you just move it to this side uh, on the perspective. And what I like to do is using the sub D, you have a reflect sub D and we're going to pick up this sub D. It's going to ask you, you want to reflect on the X or Y. We want to reflect to the Y. And also it will ask you which one you want to keep. So I'm going to click on this side uh, and hit enter. Now you're going to see one side is darker, one side is lighter. And whatever we change on this side will reflect to the other. So let me show you. We're going to pick up this one, this one, this one, this one. And also one more here pick up the surface and we want to drag it there. Okay, notice that when I drag it, this, this one is moving too. All right, if I keep dragging, as you can see, I have the something like that. But in fact, instead of dragging like that, I actually want to extrude it. So I'm dragging my gumball with that little dot there. And you see, this is the extrusion. So I got extra surface. Now I can pinch them, make them into you know, more into the shape that I wanted and rotate them or uh, scale them down. And then you can kind of play with it until you get the piece that you like. All right, on the side or at the front, um, I would like to have a design with some extra to emphasize this piece too. So again, I'm going to pick up this surface coming out just a little bit, right? Uh, I'm also going to pick up, actually you need to pick up those oops actually i want to pick up this one this one this one this one and extrude it for another piece right there but i do not want this to be like so smooth i actually want it to be a little, a little bit sharper so i'm gonna pick up the edge so i'm gonna use the crease command and gonna pick up this edge this edge and this edge and using the crease command, as you can see, now it's become like hard edges, right? So let me moving this back a little bit. So like something like this. Then you can see that I have a hard edges there. And then you can do anything that you want. Maybe you want a hard edge, maybe going from, going from here to here, uh, going from this edges and also this edges. You want them to be a hard edge too. So we want to do the crease. And then we want to move in out like that. So you can have that bump there, right? So um, in fact, I should crease on this one too. So we can have a hard edges. So you can see on my render view, this will be like a sharper point. 
All right. The same thing that you can keep playing throughout the eyewear. Let's say I wanted to have uh, this part to be selected on the faces of this faces, this faces, and this faces, right? And I want them to coming out a little bit like this. So then you have that extra piece right there. At this point, I actually need to have it this moving out outside in the direction from the front view. I want them to moving out a little bit like this. Okay, that might be look a little bit better. Um, you can also to increasing the thickness. So that's say on the bottom right here, from here and double click from here and double click and hold a shift, right? And I do not want to affect it on the nose piece. So I'm called uh, clicking on the control and deselect those, right? Once you have those piece, you can kind of increasing the thickness by extruding them. So then you have that extra surface there. I'm going to extrude it one more time. And then you got that extra surface there. Now, what we're going to do with this extra surface is we want to make some hole on the top, right? So we're going to use the bridge command and I'm going to pick up this one, two, three, four, five, six pieces there. Hit enter and coming up to the bottom. So on the bottom, I'm going to select to the same place right here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. You need to have the same number to match to do the bridge. Okay, if you hit enter, then we naturally punching a hole there, right? Uh, the same thing that you can do for this, I'm going to bridge one, two, three on one side and flip it over one, two, three. Hit enter. So after you hit enter, you click OK, then you will have something like that. Uh, notice that everything right here you can still edit. If you feel like this thickness is not uh, strong enough, you can pick up the surface again uh, on here, here, and here and try to move in a little bit to increasing the thickness. All right, it, everything you do on the right side will flip it to the other side will be the same and on the bottom again you can um, keep editing. Let's say if you don't feel like this is bump, it's like you feel like this is too much. Not only you can pick up the surface, you can also pick up the curve, uh, the edges as well, and you can move them in, kind of play with this so it doesn't go like a too sharp there. All right, for the rest, it's quite simple. I'm going to hide in this curve right here. And we are going to do a bend over. All right, so let's draw some line. I'm gonna have this come over and go through the hole, come back here, and we're gonna have a bend go over, coming outside, go through the hole, coming in, and tie it there. All right, so now this might be snapping crazy as you can see on my perspective. I'm just going to project to the C plane and make sure I did it the original one. So now they are flat, right? We just need to creating the profile. So let's go ahead to coming over here and creating some sort of a profile look like this with the conic corner right there. And I'm going to making a copy to the other side right there. Okay, so now all we need to do is a sweep. Now you can use the sub D again if you want to. Let's try that. I'm going to make them a, a sub D friendly curve first. And we are going to use a sweep. So you go from here to here. And then you have this sweep over here and then you click OK. So the good thing about this, you can keep changing. Like so let's say in the back, you do want them to be fatter right here. And then you can just changing this or certain part you want them to be thicker. So you can pick up those surface and um, you can bring them out. So you can keep changing it into the way that you want it. OK. Uh, to close this hole in the sub D, you can use the sub D uh, fill hole and then you can pick up 
you know the surface and then you hit enter and then you will close it for you and you will close nice and rounded if you don't like that nice and rounded you can always um, having as an increase in the crease. So the very last part is just that little mechanism looking things is going to hold over there for those uh, strap to work. So I'm going to have uh, some sort of a sub D box there, but I want to change to three count instead of a twos, um, both X, Y, and Z for three over here. And gonna go something look like this. All right, and why we need to do that is because we want to have a hole right in the middle. So let's go ahead to use the bridge command again, and we want to bridge in between one, two, three, enter, and you want to go for one, two, and three, enter there. So then you punch a hole over there, um, and then you click OK. Now you can keep editing to make the hole that will fit in there. I'm going to simply just go to the top view, finding the position, maybe maybe make them a little bit thicker. Coming over here, change it. As long as the rendering look nice, that will be fine. Um, it doesn't have to be like completely working. Now I'm looking at this right now. I think this is a little bit too thick. I actually want those pieces, like those uh, faces coming in a little bit more so it won't be like too weird coming up like this so I can have this piece come back right there without like being too thick right so I kind of going something like this all right so if that were for you maybe a little bit shorter maybe moving in like this I'm going to have that making a copy on the other side like this all right so I have it on both sides all right, so this is the basic of uh, using the quickly using a subby to make a really quick uh, sketch model for this snow goggle. If you like to know more about the subby, I have a course for subby specifically for Rhino 7. You can check out my website at pjchaindesign.com. Thank you for watching and I will see you next.